Hey folks, it's Bill Swift and we are here to show you a beautiful collection of our touring canoes. The Kiwaden 16, the Kiwaden 17, the Kiwaden 18.6. Let's go at it. Our classic series of canoes, the Algonquin 16, the Prospector series, are all symmetrical. Both ends have the same shape. In the modern touring canoe section, all the Kiwadens are asymmetrical. They're sleeker in the front of the boat. The widest point is carried back behind the stern of the boat. They have longer, sleeker entry lines on them, so they have a little bit more efficiency going forward. They have a little bit more acceleration with each stroke. Glide into the next stroke. They're also straighter keeled in the back end of the boat. They have less rocker, so they track a little bit better in a straight line. There's more rocker forward in this series, so the bows are more maneuverable than the sterns of the boat. The bow person can do a good draw stroke or a good prize stroke. You can really get them to paddle nicely, to turn, to maneuver the front of the boat. They're very fun to paddle for intermediate and expert paddlers as their skills improved, where when the bow paddler does a good draw stroke, if you're in a windy, twisty stream, you can really cruise through rivers and creeks nicely, and you learn to lean them on their side a little bit when you do that to accelerate the turn even quicker. Now, like the classic canoes, the touring canoes, are very rounded in the chine area and very consistently rounded from one end to the other. So you can see much roundness they have. Swift canoes are really known for being extremely seaworthy, that when waves hit the side of them, they roll underneath them with very little effect of being moved around. And I'll exaggerate a little bit, but most canoes have a bit of a flatter bottom in a straighter side to them. So when the waves hit them, they get pushed around a lot more. And then look at this also, guys. A lot of the people think that the Kiwadens look really shallow when they first look at the side of them. But look at the depth right here. It creates a bit of a depth perception. This is almost as deep, the Kiwaden 16, as the Prospector 16, but the optics of it make it look more shallow. The Kiwadens are extremely seaworthy. David has designed them where their widest point is way up the side of the boat, so they really push the waves off to the side so nicely, creates a very, very seaworthy boat. Let's take you through this beautiful Ruby Kevlar Fusion Kiwaden 16. This one's set up just the way I would want to order it. So this particular one, has the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim. It's got the black carbon end caps, and it's got the all cherry interior on it. It's got some really cool options on it that I think really add value to this particular boat. This is an adjustable sliding seat. Now it doesn't move when you paddle. When you put weight on it, it stays still. Taller people will keep it further back and you can set it up where you can put your feet on the front float tank. Smaller people like moving it way forward. It makes it narrower and easier to reach over the side and it also brings the bow of the boat down in the water a little bit more. The touring canoes, the Kiwadens, really respond nicely. The more level they are running in the water, the more you're going to fully appreciate the performance characteristics that they have. Now with the bow sliding seat, we hang the back of the seat with the bow thwart. And this continue down here. The yoke again is put in right at the balance point. It's the very last thing that we do. Now this particular one has an interior gel coat. Much, much more durable finish than just a paint. It does add a pound, pound and a half to the weight of the boat. 
But if you really do, or if you're paddling that does a lot of muddy portages, if you fish and get all kinds of stuff in the boat, it makes it so easy to clean the boat when you're done. It's much easier to clean a gel-coated surface than the interior flat surface of a composite boat. Now this is the Kevlar Fusion laminate. You can see it's got the black and gold air mid cloth. It's got a real neat look to it. It complements the carbon Kevlar trim nicely and the cherry interior. It's got a very nice look to it. Now the stern seat on the boat, it's got a wide frame like the other seats we put in. A lot of room, angle to the front bar, makes it very comfortable when you're kneeling in the boat. This particular one has a detachable kneeling thwart for those that really like to solo paddle. Now, you can take this out very easily, put it back in easily. Here's one of the big things about all of our boats. They're so light and so easy to portage. The yoke is put in right at the end, right at the balance point. I'm going to flip this down. I've just done a nice portage in Algonquin Park. Let's put it down on the ground. I want to show you the solo position here. So these kneeling thwarts are twice the width of what a lot of people put in the boat when they're doing a kneeling thwart. So look at the back here, Joe. Show people how much support I have here on my bum. I can put virtually all the weight on the bar and hardly any weight on my knees or my feet so I can paddle in this position comfortably for hours. The blood still has nice flow to it. The Kiwadens, because of the roundness to the chine area, like the prospectors, are very comfortable to lean over to the side a little bit. Now, many people, when they go on a tandem canoe trip, will take the kneeling thwart out and not take it on because it does add weight to the boat. If you don't mind the weight, I like having the kneeling thwart. If you like to have a fire at night, I find it so much easier to find firewood if you paddle once you're at the campsite away from where the campsite is, paddle the shoreline, so easy to put some firewood in the boat, paddle back to the campsite, your partner's waiting, have things set up. Beautiful way to go. So detachable kneeling thwart, if you're a solo paddler, is something you definitely want to consider. And this beautiful Kiwaden 16 has many options that you may want. Folks, here is a really cool Kiwaden 16 in the carbon fusion laminate that has the colored spread toe texturing finish on the outside of it. We've got it available in three colors this year, and it is just an absolutely striking finish. It does add $2,000 to the cost of the boat, but if you want a super, super cool looking boat, this is something you should definitely want to consider. Now this has the two-tone finish on it, so it's got the champagne bottom, which really hides the scratches over time. And this particular one has the Carbon Tech package. So it's got the black carbon Kevlar trim. And this baby has the bow sliding seat. Now all of our seats we make as wide frame as we can so paddlers can really move over to the side a little bit if they want to. Has the nice roundness to the front of the seat with a lot of room. And also a curve to the back bar which really gives you more room, especially for people with bigger bums. Now, when we put these sliding seats in, we modify our ribbing structure so that we have a rib right where the side pod for the back bar goes in. And then we have another ribbing structure right where the front side pod is. It creates incredible structural integrity in the boat. But like the wood slider we showed you, it allows smaller paddlers to move forward, easier to go over the, reach over the sides. It's a beautiful setup. Now, the carbon runner bars, the carbon thwarts, the carbon yoke, the carbon handles are all made with a really cool process in which they're two-piece molds that come together and resin is shot through them 
super high-end technology. We build many of the parts ourselves right in our factory. Now this particular boat also has the stern carbon foot bar, which is an option that I absolutely love. And here the stern seat setup again is so nice. It's a really size to it. And Joe, why don't you circle around over here and we're going to show you guys an option we have that's super, super cool. This is what we call the Portager logo. And check it out, folks. Our friends in Australia at Pato Portage have a similar logo to this, and it inspired us to do this. This is built right into the finish. This is not a decal you see after. So this is that really cool greenish color spread toe tech stream that you see. And you can see the gel coat is built right around it. If you want a really distinctive look, we have three different logos we offer in this. The Canada package, the Portager logo, the Swift name on the bottom. If you have something custom in mind, we'll consider that. If you want to see a cool video, Google Swift Canoe Nano video, and you're going to see a really super cool finish. So, Kiwaden 16, Carbon Tech Package, Portager logo. This is a special boat. Many different ways you can order your own Kiwaden 16. Here is another Kiwaden 16 that we're going to give you a quick rundown on, and you can see it extensively in our Combi Canoe video. But this one is our beautiful Expedition Kevlar finish with a beautiful Basalta Negra commingle fiber on the outside of it. This one also has the beautiful cherry outers on it with the carbon decks. It's a very good way to get a lightweight wood appointment on a boat. If you're a wood lover, we do lots like this, and we also do full wood trims. Now, the Kiwaden 16 Combi and the Kiwaden 16 come out of the same mold. They're exact same boat. We put the bow and the stern seats in the exact same location. But this particular one, you can also get with the center seat and the center seat can be ordered detachable where when you're not using it this quickly you can take it right out of the boat and have it with a detachable yoke on it so that it's a very good two-person boat it's a great solo boat and it's also a very usable three-person boat if you're looking for a boat with incredible versatility consider the Kiwaden 16 combi the Kiwaden 16 appeals to couples looking for a real good day paddling boat and for smaller couples doing longer, more extended trips. If you're a larger couple or a small family, you really just want to load your boat down with a lot more gear, consider the Kiwaden 17. So this particular boat has the same shape as the 16. It's a little bit wider a little bit deeper, and an absolute joy to paddle. And let's take you through this beautiful boat right here, which is actually a customer order. I call this particular version the Bill Swift Special because this is exactly how I would get a Kiwaden 17. This one is the carbon fusion laminate that has the beautiful carbon H-weave exterior finish. You can also order the black exterior skid plate that's color matched if you want incredible toughness and durability. Now this baby has the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim on it, which has the nice outer lip to it, which deflects the splash and the spray and gives you something to hold on to when you reach over to flip it up. The black carbon end caps. And this particular one has the cherry interior, cherry handles. All the hardware is put in with stainless steel. Now this right here is the bow sliding seat we've been showing you. When we do it with the cherry, we hang the back bar from the gunnel. When we do it with the carbon, it's all inset with these beautiful side pods in it. 
So this particular one also has the carbon foot bar on it, which has a telescoping tube so you can easily adjust it for different length of paddlers to paddle in the boat. I love this configuration because it really gives your feet something solid to brace on. So a Kiwaden 17 Carbon Fusion Cherry Interior. Ooh la la, I've got to have one of these. Here is a super special Kiwaden 17. This is the boat that my partner and I use. We call Luna, we've named it, and everyone's going to want to name their own canoe once they've had it for a while. This particular one has a Kevlar interior finish back in the days when we had the all gold inside. And it's, we put the Carbon Anegra tanks in it, and it's the Carbon Anegra H-Weave on the outside. Now we like showing this to you folks because this boat's been really beat up and we've played with this over the years. This is the boat from which I, we formulated the Bill Swift Special from. So this particular one is the carbon interior. And an option that you really want to consider is these swift padded seats. They add so much comfort to the boat. Now also going back, I love having the, this padded yoke pad in addition to the thin pad that comes on the yoke. And then I also love to use the tump line, which we're going to show you quickly. This one's got our older carbon foot bar in the back. And again, this one's got the padded seat. I can't emphasize enough, guys, that when we were 15, 20 years old, we could sit on anything and be comfortable. As we age, the more comfort you have in your boat when you're using it, the more you want to stay in it, the more you want to use it. These padded seats add so much comfort to the boat. Now I'm going to flip this baby up. You're going to see a bunch of the scratches on it. So let's go right now. So I love the tump line. It allows me to put some weight on my head as well as my shoulders when I'm carrying the boat. And it really disperses it so I can adjust it as I go in the portage too. Or if I pull it down, it puts uh, more weight on the tump, less on my shoulders. If I lift the bow of it up, it puts more of the weights on my shoulders. Super cool option if you're really used to using a tump line or if you really get into doing longer portages. Now let's flip this baby down and my partner and our Adrian are going to show you our setup when we like to paddle. Okay folks, here's my partner Adrian and we're getting ready to go on a trip in Algonquin. So this is how we typically load it up. Because I weigh quite a bit more, we put most of the weight right behind Adrian. We've got these beautiful padded seats in the boat. And Adrian, why don't you show the folks how easy it is for you to adjust the position of the seat. So if she wants to, she can move it more forward where it makes it even narrower and easier for her to reach over the sides, or she can push it back more. And for reference, she's 5'8", so it gives her the ability to have a lot of room. And as she moves further forward, it brings the bow of the boat down in the water more. Now, Joe, let's show the folks here the carbon foot bar in the back and why I absolutely love it. So the first thing about the carbon foot bar, guys, is I like to keep my knees with a little bit of bend to them. If you keep your legs just straight, it really puts a lot more pressure on your ligaments, your tendons, your muscles. This is a little bit more of a relaxed position. Now you can put your feet right out to the sides and you can order them with the kayak foot braces in the back rather than the foot bar. But what's beautiful about the carbon foot bar is I can either put one foot or both feet both in the middle. It gives me a lot of versatility when I paddle. Now when you do paddle, when you really want to lean on the stroke, it's a windy, wavy day, we've really got to cross the lake. You really transmit your energy by pushing on your feet. So if I'm really going to lean on my paddle, I really push on my foot on the side that the paddle's on really hard, it helps with the energy and moving the boat through the water. 
So I think all canoes should have carbon foot bars on them. Many folks that trip are used to having their packs in the boat, but an option you definitely want to consider. You ready to go, Adrian? You bet. Let's go. So guys, this was a blem that we took out years ago and it just became our tripping canoe. We have absolutely hammered this boat and there's times when we intentionally run over rocks in the early days just to check out the durability. If you really use your boat hard, this is the types of marks you'll get on it. And you can see this one right here, we've actually gone right into the gel coat. And I know when this happened, we're in Plastic Lake in the Halliburton Forest area. And you can chip your gel coat, you can scratch it, you can crack it a little bit. You really don't need to do anything to take care of it. With our resin infusion process, water is not going to seep into the laminate unless it's an extreme stream marking it. And we have a lot of people that will bring our boats back. So many people look at our boats and say, oh, Bill, they're so beautiful. I don't know if I want to use it. They're designed for it. We've designed a laminate that when you hit rocks, you hit logs, they've got elasticity. They've got give to them. So you can get your beautiful swift canoe and you can love it, but don't be afraid to use it. This is the type of marks that when customers show up in our yard, I can look at a boat and can say, these folks have really used their boat well and this boat's been loved a lot. Here's another cool boat we want to show you, a Kiwaden 17 Combi. Again, you can check out our Combi canoe video on our YouTube channel. Now this particular one is a Kevlar Fusion. It's got the beautiful amber finish on the outside, the black and gold cloth. Now this year's version also has a black internal skid plate on it, which you don't see here. This is a demo we've had for a full year now. This particular one has the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim. It's got the bow sliding seat on it. It's got the carbon foot bar set up for the solo position. It's got the multi-height pods on it with the detachable seat. It's got a detachable yoke. The Kiwaden 17 is a really versatile boat. There's so much you can do to it. You can load it up live crazy with gear. Someone larger like myself can also use it as a solo boat comfortably or Three people can paddle and trip in this boat nicely, and this is a pretty cool setup to have when you've got the detachable yoke on it. So the Kiwaden 17 Combi, a boat you may want to consider. Hey folks, here's a really cool canoe, the Kiwaden 18.6. Hello up there, pull right, pull right. This is the longest boat we make, and this is a really good canoe for a family of four perhaps, or people that just really like a big boat to really load up with a lot of gear, let's go over it with you. This is the Expedition Kevlar finish with the Basalta Negra co-mingle on the outside. It's got the black carbon internal skid plates on it. It's got the two-tone color on the bottom with the champagne color matte skid plates. Ooh la la, this baby's set up to trip. Now, this has the black carbon Kevlar trim with the carbon tech package on the inside. And check this out, folks. This boat is big. It's really designed. It's got so much space in it. Here's some really cool options that families want to consider. Now this one has two detachable center seats in it. This particular one is the kid center seat. So it's so easy for me just to pop these front positions on it and I can take the seat right out. Now when we do the kid seat, we put it in front of the yoke and turn the yoke around backwards so you can still paddle comfortably. Now this particular setup also has the solo center seat, which is right in front of the stern thwart. This particular option is really cool as well. 
and again, it's really easy for me to take out. So it gives you the versatility. The side pods will stay in the boat, but you take the seat out to make it lighter. So if you have two people that want to go on a trip by themselves, it's very easy to do with this configuration also once you pop the seats out. So the Kiwaden 18.6 is super popular with families that really want a very versatile boat that perhaps want to take a dog or two with them, a couple kids with them. It's a great, great boat for families to enjoy the parks of Canada and the U.S. and Australia and Britain now. Cheers. Here is another tandem boat that you may want to consider. This is the Kiwaden 16 Tandem Pack. Now this is in our Pack Canoe video. Again, you can find it on our YouTube channel. This is a very popular configuration for people that may have back issues or people that just want a lot of comfort when they go paddling. So it's got our pack boat seat when you're not using it. Very easy to fold down right like this. Now, when I want to use the seat, I just pop this in here, tuck the back support in, pull down. You don't crank on it, but look at this seat, guys. It's got very thick padding on the bottom of it. It's got padding in the back. It's got the adjustable lumbar support. When you paddle, the seat moves with you. It's got a lot of elasticity to it, so it's really got a lot of give. These work like backpack straps, very easy to adjust your position in the boat. This is becoming more and more popular. Also, in the back of the boat, you, it comes standard with the kayak foot braces. Some people also get it with the stern carbon foot bar. So if you really have back issues or you really are finding that canoeing is not comfortable to you, this is definitely a boat that you want to consider. We only do this configuration in the Kiwaden 16, but what a beauty it is. We've given you lots of great video to choose your ba -ba -ba, touring canoe. I get it, it's a new name. Hopefully this video has given you lots of great information to choose your touring canoe. Our YouTube channel also has information on canoe haul laminates, canoe trim systems. Check it out. Also, you can see the, the classic tandem canoe video, the pack canoe video, the combi canoe video. Now, Adrian and I, we're going to head out on the trip. Are you ready to go? Let's go. All right, let's do it. Time to head out. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to Algonquin we go.